2017 includes new features or a new feature to import PDF files. So I've just gone to the Insert tab. From the Insert tab, notice the Import option where I can import DGN and FBX files. I mean, that's not new. But I'm going to pick the PDF import. And it's looking to select a PDF underlay. So if I already had attached it as an underlay, like a reference, I could convert that. But in this case, I want to browse and select an existing file. So I'm going to select this civil base PDF file here. And when I click Open, what it's going to do is give me some options here. Now, what I did is I actually created this from a paper space layout just to see what can we do with this, with this data. So I'm going to pick the insertion point on the screen, or let's just go at, uh, well, let's actually pick it, scale one to one. And what do we want to import? Do I want to use the layers within the PDF file? So does the PDF file contain layers? Do I want to attempt to bring in vector geometry? I don't want any solid fills right now. Let's try to bring in the text, and let's also bring in any raster images. I want to join and line in arc segments because I don't want you know 1,000 or 1 million segments in there. Let's convert solid fills, so it kind of works with this one, into hatches. Otherwise, the, the data will come in. If, if there is, let's say, a hatch pattern, it's not going to come in as a hatch pattern. So only solid fills will come in as hatch patterns. And then do we want to infer line types from from collinear dashes. This is a good one. If there was a you know, hidden line or a center line type, AutoCAD is going to attempt to recognize that and bring that in as one line type or one line object as opposed to separate separate objects or separate entities. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to pick my insertion point. So AutoCAD's gone through there and you can see that even though I exported this from a paper space layout, it was still able to recognize the geometry was in there. So notice that it's brought in splines or in this case arcs. Um, we can see here it's brought in a polyline. Um, in this case, the X's threw it off a bit. It couldn't recognize that as, as a line type. So in that case, it actually broke it. This was actually a, a block with attributes before, but you can see it's brought it in a separate, separate geometry. So lines and arcs and circles. Um, if I continue around here, I can see there are quite a few objects. But if I go to my layer drop down here, Notice that it has brought in all these various layers that were contained within the PDF file. So it's done pretty much what I've asked it to do. So looking at this, um, you know, it's done a really good job with the geometry. It's very clean. Some things to to you know keep in, in mind is that you know my text didn't come in as text. It actually came in in as a basically exploded geometry. So there's no text in here. And although it did pretty good with the line types, you can see like this one here with the gas and stuff it's brought that in a separate entity because there's no way for it to recognize that. Okay, let's try another one. I'm just going to create a new file and again I'm going to go PDF import and I don't have a uh, underlay so let's come in here and I don't quite, oh there it is. I'm going to take this PDF file this time let's take, let's kind of do everything that we can here. We will bring in the PDF layers. Here's a preview on this and let's just take a look at the options. So I'm going to click options and notice it's just where is the, the base image location? Where is it going to look for that information? So again, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to pick the location. AutoCAD's going to do its thing. And you can see here it's taking a little while. But we can see there's actually like 83,000 entities for it to process here. We can see it's actually going to build almost 70,000 polylines. So this is a pretty significant file. And honestly, it's not taking that long. So the, the mechanism, the engine behind it, it's fairly quick for the geometry and this type of stuff that's actually in this file. So you see the file is opened here. It took about five minutes in total. I didn't, I kind of used the magic of recording here to kind of skip past that. But five minutes to open, the amount of data was here, I think is pretty reasonable. Now let's just take a look at some of this data in this case. So this actually came from model space. And you can see that we've got lines. This case, though, still no text. But we can see that the data has been brought across as lines and polylines and splines and such. If I take a look at here, again, notice that the letters are, are individual. So this is the first release with the, with the PDF import. What it does really well is it does a really good job of recognizing polylines, or at least grouping together as polylines, you know, lines and arcs, circles. With center line types and hidden line types, does a really good job of recognizing those. 
What it doesn't do though, is it doesn't do any text. So kind of the pros and cons of, of the PDF import in AutoCAD 2017.